Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. After a long week, long stressful week in the shop. Oh guys, it's been terrible around here. You won't believe what I did. <laughs> it's just been flat terrible. The other day, I made a big mistake on my YouTube account. It's a long story, but you kind of got it messed up. I can't even uh, reply to a lot of your guys' comments. I try and it just, uh, it uh, comes back. I need to re-sign in, you know, or something. I don't know. I don't know. And then I do that, and it still don't work. Oh, okay. I know. I know. Let me for a minute. This one goes on the bottom. Yeah, this don't go on the top side. I'm scared. It didn't have no holes in there. But I gotta get the right one on the right deal. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Now. Guys, the other day, I was uh, kind of aggravated and trying to do something on YouTube that wouldn't let me. And it keeps trying to make, when, I, when it made me sign up for my Google account, it made me another YouTube account, which is Robert Moore, and there's nothing on there. But it keeps trying to make me go to that account. I don't want to go to that account. So, so I hit delete account thinking it would just delete that Robert Moore one. Oh no, deleted everything. My my Gmail account, you can't get on. And I thought it deleted my YouTube account. And I panicked, man. And it took me three days to get it straightened out. But I started watching videos. Once I found out what it was, well, John, my buddy, website guy says, well, try YouTube, you know, see if uh, there's any videos on it. How to fix it. And I did. And some people were on there telling me how to do it, but they wasn't successful. <laughs> and what I had to do is that the, the mistake they made, they tried to go to Gmail and just open new accounts with the same name, and that don't work. <laughs> but what I got to do here now, I got it straightened out yesterday, finally. I was ready to throw that. I thought, uh, I thought we was done, guys. I really did. I thought my two days were over. For three days I was on that computer. I did nothing done this week. It's been bad. <laughs> bad week. <laughs> I did get a little done. But I want to get all my jigs made. For this F-18. some aluminum for the spars. Kind of had a hard time doing that. I need to cut it down of course because most of the stuff is a little bit thinner than what I had. And uh, I finally found the right thickness. Okay. I just need to cut it down on the table saw and uh, we're good to go there. But I want to get all my jigs made. So like I'm doing on these hornet stabs here, uh, I got, I still got a couple to make. I want to make one go across there. This is what's out of the old, they look where they had the screws just crushing that honeycomb. Oh, these were a bad deal. That one goes right there. Now I'm going to do it the same way because the servo, 
actually goes into the stab right there. It's got a little horn that comes out of the fuselage and that's what moves them. So we don't need the long torqued rods. I'm pretty much just going to make them like they had them, except better. <laughs> See that goes right there. I made that fit in there just perfect. I kind of had to bend that wood a little bit. It wasn't hard. I just kind of blocked it up once I got it cut out and put a clamp on the table, left it there for a couple hours. It just needs a little bit of an arc in it right there. And I got them done. Now these are just, this is just my template. And I want to make one more template. That goes right there. Uh, for these. And then I'm going to put another main part of that away. But, mainly these stabs, guys. Ooh. These fly eagle stabs are just no good. They're just, these things are just fold right in half and <laughs> break that easy. Just that easy. And uh, you'll never do that with mine. See, that's the thing about composites. They can't touch. You have to have something in there. See, if they would have a main spar in there, you know, even at an end grain balsa, that keeps them from collapsing, and that's what makes it break. If you can keep it, these sides out here, it will never break like that. But uh, that's the purpose of these. Okay, but I got to get these glued together too. Remember, I got my Kevlar hinge in there, and that's what I'm going to do this weekend. Get all my, my templates made so I can just route out the parts. And, uh, but first, bam, remember the old whiplash? Uh, there's a, there's a boat race this weekend. Wes is going Saturday. It's just across the border in Oklahoma, ain't very far. I think I'm going to jet down there tomorrow. And, uh, have some fun with the whiplash. You guys want me to video some of it? Huh, should I video David? I have took that whiplash out a couple of times. And uh, that thing's fast. It's real fast. And <laughs> I'm going to go to boat races tomorrow. Hey, what the hey, right? And, uh, and uh, I'm going to get these templates made so I can get these things glued together. I got another set of ducks ready to go. Got them all painted up, ready to roll. And uh, I was really hoping to get a lot done this week. But unfortunately... I was on the computer most of the time. And you see, that's another thing I didn't like about a lot of them ARFs. You get, they got this wood glued on there, you know, to glue the servo doors on. But they put it on top and it breaks right off where it splits when you put the screw in it. So I put these in before I put the glass on. Then they're glassed over them. So then where you put the screws in, they'll stay real good. And uh, the won't split have something to screw to and these right here see where I gave it more room for the servos to fit because these wings are so thin out there you can use standard size servos but you can't use the 8711s plus my foam is thicker than uh, their uh, balsa sheeting so I cut them out these didn't need to so I put that foam back in and uh, put some Kevlar behind it stiffen it up be just fine and I had to make that cut right there in that wood so I can get these to hinge down. But I need to make a template for this bulkhead going this way. Uh, templates to make the main spar set up. And it's got some jigs to make. I'm going to get that done and I can just route the parts out. Bam. And uh, that's what I'm going to focus on. But tomorrow I'm going to go to the boat races. And uh, I'll videotape some of it and it'll be a hoot. This is my first race ever. <laughs> we'll see what happens. We'll see you guys back in the shop. Or maybe at the lake. Thumbs up, thumbs down. You guys want to see some boat racing? See the whiplash in action? Let me know.